you're a brand new insurance agent or an aspiring life insurance agent that really wants to make a lot of dollars in this space, I'm going to let you see some things that not everybody is going to share with you so that you can hopefully dominate and make the dollars in this industry. There's so many people that find high levels of success, but yet 90% of the agent force fails because sometimes the recruiters and the folks that are drinking the Kool-Aid because they were given it didn't get a chance to see. So I'm going to let you see what you need to know before you put the old ring on the finger and say I do. So before I go into this, my name's Jason. I'm your friend in the industry, and I'm so blessed to recruit and partner with some of the most amazing agents, as well as agencies that partner here to sell life, Medicare and annuities face-to-face, -face, but more importantly, in the telespace. And free resources for you for the taking at jasonfinalexpense.com. And I appreciate you joining with us in this content today. I hope it's just what you need, but maybe not what you were told. So first off, when you dive into this space, you've got to understand there's a very low barrier to entry, meaning it doesn't cost you a lot to get into the industry. But yet when 90% of the agent force is failing out, it's because they didn't realize the massive levels of discipline plan that are really going to be required uh, for you to possess if you want to have profitability. This is not an industry of laziness somehow making a lot of money. This is the harder we work, the luckier we can get kind of a space. It's an eat what you kill. It's a performance-based business. This beats up a lot of folks that think, oh, I've got my insurance license. Hey, now I can make a lot of money because I can now sell life insurance. That's a real big lie. You can make a lot of money for sure if you're successful. But if you don't, you won't make a dollar, won't make a dime if you don't sell and save people from their problems. So you've got to understand performance-based businesses are amazing if you're a top performer, if you have discipline about you and have a soft heart. But if you're a one that really can't get out of bed on your own and don't possess discipline, this is definitely something that you don't want to mess with. This industry is for those that are warriors, that have this just amazing grind about them but know how to go on their own without anyone pushing them and prodding them or maybe treating them like a W-2. So number one, you've got to show up. you got to show up, and you've got to have discipline, and I mean a lot of it. This industry is not easy. Uh, simple, yes, it is, but easy, it is definitely not. So you got to focus on action. Action is everything. I call it the IPA. you got to be drinking that IPA every day, and I'm not talking about brew here. I'm talking about income-producing activities. Action, action, action is all you need to be focused on as a brand-new agent. And if you're one that's like, I'm going to sit around and train, I'm going to sit around and play with my CRM, or I'm going to sit around and juggle papers all day, you probably won't make much profitability. You've got to be about that action, my friends. Income-producing activities, anything that gets in your way is a distraction. It's going to derail you. It's going to cost you dollars and you got to be disciplined about this. So understand that the business is all about hard work. Show up, show up, show up, have those habits, have habitual behavior, but you've also got to be one that can put blinders on. You've got to not let the distractions of the business, maybe it's ACA, maybe it's Medicare insurance sales, maybe it's annuity sales. And we do all of that here at jasonfinalexpense.com, powerful agents as well as agencies that partner here to sell those products. But that's not what you start with. You got to be single focused. You can be a powerful racehorse, but if you're distracted by everything on the planet, you're not going to be able to win the prize and win your race. You've got to be myoptic if you want a chance of making money in a simple business, but it's not easy, my friends. So tip number two, if you're taking notes, is the business sometimes gets messier before you make that money. You're going to get told no way more than you get told yes. Rejection beats up a lot of insurance agents because belief is the backbone of this business. And when you're hearing, no, 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 not right now, I don't want it, this can cause you to panic a little bit and get away from fundamentals. You've got to understand you've got to have a foundation of training and implementation of that training on the daily if you want a chance of finding success. And a lot of times training doesn't sound like fun, but you got to train like this is your career. This is your calling. This isn't a cash machine. This is about you focusing on sometimes getting a little messy in training so that you don't trip yourself up in the real world when real dollars are on the line. And real lives need your support, which comes through a solution that you provide the client as a problem solver. And then guess what? You get paid because you made a sale. But the sale is a byproduct of you really intimately and intentionally taking care of that consumer in the most powerful, gracious way, not through this like high pressure way that some people teach out there. Be careful. But the business sometimes gets messy before you make a lot of money. You may have to work a lot. And then guess what? Hopefully you can make a lot of money when you're successful. But 
Some days you're overpaid. Some days you're underpaid. That's a painful reality of this industry. It's not all upsides. You're going to get small chargebacks. You're going to get told, beep you. I don't want this. Not right now. The fool's gold of the industry. Hey, Jason, I really like you. Can you go ahead and call me tomorrow? Or if you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent, oh, man, Jason, this is so great. I'm going to think about it. How about you come back maybe in a week? And then you try to come back in a week and no one's there. Or you try to call and they won't pick up your phone call anymore. That's painful, my friends. Rejection is real. It diminishes belief, which can cost you bucks if you focus on that. you got to focus on the positives. You've got to focus on back to number one, powerful action, showing up. When you hear no, you got to be thinking, next person I can serve. Or maybe understanding how I can get beyond that no through objection handling in a gracious way, not in a way that, you're ready to just give up. You got to get up and help the consumer through powerful questions. And maybe you've got the answer. Maybe you don't. But you've got to really accelerate in seeing a lot of people so that you've got the best chance to have the numbers on your side. And like I say, the business with tip number two, it will get messy sometimes before it gets in a place that you make a lot of those bucks. When I was a brand new agent, I had one week that really didn't go the greatest. I was multiple days where I'm just busting trail trying to get sales. And then finally... Like my last appointment ended up being a powerful appointment that closed and I was able to take care of that great family. But woo, I was panicking a little bit as a brand new guy, right? It, that's why I say the business sometimes gets messy before you make that money. You've got to believe you've got what it takes. Belief is everything. That's why you need powerful mentors who can speak life into you in this space. It's big. Make sure you've got a trainer who's truly done this industry successfully. I've done this industry a long time. I've done the insurance industry combined with my telesales experience, talking over 20 plus years, two plus decades. I've got a million dollar round table ring on my hand. And let me tell you, I've helped a lot of agents as well as agencies, as well as countless prospects through powerful companies and a ton of policies I've written. It's not about the money. It's about making people's lives better. The money's a byproduct, and you got to focus on giving that consumer everything they want. But the business does get messy sometimes, and you got to have people that can make a way for you. Make sure you've vetted your trainer, my friends. It's very, very important. There's a lot of people out there in this space that are professional recruiters. They'll give you maybe a lot of recruitment, but not a real level of mentoring, training, and support. Look at our agent interviews and testimonials um, up above at the end of this video and watch some of those. They, that's what it's about. It's about helping other agents acquire what they desire, but it's not guaranteed. This business has no glass ceiling. You can earn what you're worth, but there's also no guarantee that you'll make money in it either. You got to work really hard, even though it's a low barrier to entry. You got to understand, I got to be about that action. I got to be about that IPA. You got to be drinking that every day, income producing activity if you want a chance for profitability. So number three that maybe you weren't disclosed to or shared with is that you got to buy leads. And the first thing you got to focus on is just breaking even. And if you're working for a captive agency that maybe gives you some shared leads that are nothing more than data, that's going to just demoralize you because everybody else has touched them. It's tough. You're like a dog trying to get after a bone that you got four more dogs chasing you on. And there's just not a lot of meat on the bone. When you get a brand new lead, that's phenomenal. But when you buy leads, there's a risk here, right? You got to focus on the reward of helping the client win. But the first thing that you got to focus on when you buy leads, my friends, is break even. And there's a risk there, right? You got, I don't buy leads. What? You mean I dropped 500 bucks or $1,000 and there's no guarantee I'm going to have success? Yes, welcome to the industry. If you're a top producer, you don't got to worry about it. If you're a closer, if you're not, well... You may not make the wealth in this space. It's not a W-2 industry where everybody gets a participation trophy. This industry is 1099 commission driven. And if you're a top producer taking care of great people with just a soft heart, you may sell a lot of policies and make a lot of money. But there's no guarantee of success or survival when you buy leads. And that's why you need the laws of large numbers on your side. You got to make sure you've been trained. You truly are advocating for the consumer but at the same point, you got to have a tremendous amount of belief because the no's will come and you got to know what to do with it when they hit you. And I mean, hit you. So be powerful, be positive, but you got to buy leads if no one ever shared that with you. And your first focus is breaking even. And then the commission breath is off your shoulder. Now you can just fly forward with success. And then guess what? Everything's cash flow positive, hopefully, for you once you've broken even. Maybe you're going to 4X, maybe you're going to 10X your lead spend. But you got to know that there's no guarantee that you're going to make it 
But if you do, no better life, all right? Now, the last tip I want to share with you, tip number four, is you've got to be really laser-like focused if you want to last. Laser focus on the one thing that you should be doing. Back to IPA, income-producing activity. If you get distracted, you'll get derailed. You won't make those dollars. And believe it or not, there's agents out there that will focus on everything except the most important thing. If you're in final expense telesales, get on the phone and call the next person. That's what you should be doing. If you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent, good. Go knock some doors. Go talk to the next house that maybe you can help that person that says, hi, how are you? Why are you on my lawn here? you got to launch into action. You've got to be laser-like focused on income-producing activities, and that's action. Driving around, talking to people, doing seminars, seeing the next person, having an elevator speech, elevating not what you sell, but what you sincerely do to help your consumer. Laser-like focus or you won't last. If you're focusing on the next video, the next shiny thing you can sell, maybe you're focusing on, oh, maybe I should sell annuities. Oh, maybe IULs. Oh, maybe this. Oh, maybe that. You're going to lose your money, my friends, because those that – are distracted, those that are deluded rarely make the dollars in this space. You need to become a master of one, just like a surgeon gets paid a whole lot more when they specialize in heart surgery compared to somebody that's in general practice. You want to get paid more? Go myoptic. Be a specialist. Never look back, and hopefully you will survive. You're going to find just tremendous levels of success. But number one, the most important thing is having that discipline, having that drive, because the harder we work, the luckier we can get, but no guarantees here. Understand, number two, the business gets messier before we can make money, hopefully, but not guaranteed. That's why it's a great place to be if you're a top producer, if you're a disciplined agent. This dynamic, whew, no better life. And you got to be disciplined enough to, number three, buy your leads, and then just focus on breaking even. Moment that you've done this long enough, you're like, don't even care. I know I can turn that lead into a lot of money because I got the skill set, the wheel set, and the work set, and I'm going to be laser focused, and I'm never going to look back. Let everybody else fail out of the industry. You are going to find success. So I hope you've got what it takes. Hope you remember that you're positive and powerful and that you deserve this, but that will happen because of discipline, a little bit of luck, but having good mentors who can make a way for you. If we can do anything to serve you or you need a good second opinion on anything, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. Promise I'll take the time to reach back to you personally and help you in any way I can. If you need anything at all or if you've got a topic you want me to take up, put it in the comments below. Do my darndest to deliver for you. We'll see you soon, my friends, and I appreciate you.